Hey everybody, welcome to the stream and welcome to Jurassic Park. Or should I say... Welcome to Jurassic Park. <laughs> yeah, welcome to Jurassic Park on the NES. <laughs> and of course, uh, rest in peace Mr. Richard Attenborough, who gave us uh, that iconic line by playing John Hammond in the movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, in this, yeah, the movie came back back in 1993, so I actually didn't get to see it in the movies, in the theaters, because I was too young. I was only 10 back, back in 1993, so uh, I kept hearing that uh, it was really scary for kids, even older kids that went to see the movie. They, they came back with stories that, oh, it was terrifying, the scenes with... with uh, severed goat leg falling on the car or the velociraptor chasing the kids through the kitchen the t-rex eating the guy who's sitting on a toilet which but yeah based on that description i actually thought he was using the toilet when he got eaten well, no he was just hide, hiding inside <laughs> i actually remember seeing references to the movie to those scenes in, in other popular media you know as it happens with uh, uh when Popular movies come out, the other media make references, but I haven't seen the movie yet, so I, I didn't get I didn't get the references until much later. That's when I got to see I got to see it with this. Still have I still have the VHS tape. <laughs> and I actually remember uh there was another VHS cover that was made in with gray in gray plastic and sculpted to looked like it was made of stone. I thought it was just the coolest thing. <laughs> Unfortunately, I couldn't get that. <laughs> but yeah, as it happened a lot when I rented uh, NES games back in the day, uh, I rented a lot of uh, games based on movies that I had watched or, or that I knew about. So, of course, I, I rented this one. But unfortunately, I was never able to beat it back in the day. Hey, Scarpsine. <laughs> Welcome. But, but yeah, I did play a lot. I, I remember reaching the boat level, or maybe I saw someone else playing it, get, getting past it. I also remember seeing uh, other Jurassic Park games on the Mega Drive, like Genesis. There, like I remember seeing like, whoa, much better graphics and 2D platformer instead of this one. But, but now that I played both, I think I, I still like this one better. <laughs> Still have the cartridges. Yeah, I will be using a, an, an emulator to play, but uh, as you can see, I do own the original game. <laughs> there is an S SNES version that's kind of like a remake of this, but there are a couple differences. Like the when you go inside indoors, uh, there it switches to a first-person view. The music is different, and some yeah, some of the not separated in levels, but but yeah, it is. It is a. Uh, Kind of like with better graphics, but I think I still prefer this one. This one actually has pretty nice music. <laughs> yeah, the J and P logo that they put on on the game and and merge. Um, I actually re rewatched uh, the Jurassic Park movie recently. I did not see the, that logo anywhere in the movie. They only put it in in the merch. Hmm. <clears throat> And, and yeah, that logo kind of sometimes switches from having a yellow background to having a red background. It's not, it's not like an alternate version of it. Yeah. Well, this game is actually kind of unfair in some cases. So I actually had to write down a whole bunch of notes to be able to be able to get past it, which I'll be consulting throughout the, the, the gameplay. <laughs> Everything, everything looking good, sounding good. Get this here. Get this here. You never played the NES one? I, I only played the NES one because I never owned a, a, a Super Nintendo back in the day. <laughs> Let's get it started. Uh, okay. Let me just put everything here so I can keep an eye out on things. 
me. I gotta arrange my windows so I can read chat, watch the game, keep an eye on connection, everything. <laughs> okay, here you go. And start. Whoa. Very creepy music already. Hi there. Um, please don't eat me. It's menu music, though. Will I be recreating the scene where the professor takes his glasses off? Probably not, because I, I can't see without my glasses, so... I wouldn't be able to play the game if I took him off. Yeah, look at that. But yeah, both the mo movie and the game have good soundtracks, but for different reasons. Pretty cool I mean, animation of the of the saliva dripping off his teeth. <laughs> yeah, if, for some reason, if you if you're weird, you you can play this without music. Come on, your music's so good. Or you can play without any sound. Why would you? Or you can play both. There's a two-player mode, but it's not at the same time. It's alternating one in another. You know, like a lot of a lot of NES games were like that. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's start. Level 1. Warning. Power to the electric containment fence has been cut off. The dinosaurs have taken control of Jurassic Park. Find Tim and rescue him from a stampede of giant triceratops. Hint. Use the motion detectors for helpful information. Message ends. Okay, let's go. Hold on to your butts. Music too. Hmm. Hang on, just vibe me for a second here. Yeah, pretty cool music, huh? <laughs> so yeah, in this game, as you can see, it has a top-down view. You can fire these bullets at the these tiny dinosaurs, which are called Compsognathus. I just call them Compi, <laughs> very complicated name. <laughs> But yeah, they show up in the second uh, Jurassic Park movie. The little tiny, tiny dinosaurs show up in the beginning and middle of the second movie. And yeah, the objective of each level is to collect these eggs, dinosaur eggs that show up. So these tiny ones from this yellow bullet, as you can see, they take two shots to kill. But they also give you back two shots, so as, as long as you don't miss any shots, you won't run out of ammo. Access card. Oh dear. Oh dear, there are a lot of them. They're pretty slow, so... Oh. Oh. I can jump too. You can kind of avoid them. Ah! The lost raptors are also on the loose. And yeah, this big, this gray bullet kills them in one shot and even goes through them. But it's also very scarce, so I won't waste it. Pick up bullets throughout the level. 
Okay, it pays to know exactly how many bullets it takes to kill each one. So you only fire the, what, the necessary amount. That's an electric, electrified skylight for some reason. That'll electrify me if I touch it. <laughs> and there's the fused JP logo. Dilophosaurus! They take four bullets to kill. Yeah, the logo is in the game. All over. So I can't, yeah, I can't even go inside yet because these access cards are required. And the, la the access card will only show up once I pick up the last egg. Either pick up or destroy it. I can shoot it and destroy it, but then I won't get any points. Ah! Get away! But yeah, one of the things that make this game a little hard is that you don't you don't shoot exactly in front of you. You shoot you shoot kind of to the side, so you kind of have to line up your gun to the dinosaur if you want to hit it. And you got these question mark boxes. Okay, you'll pick up this one. Oh, it healed me. That bar on on the left there is my health, and below it is my number of lives. Then there's the ammo, and then there's the amount of eggs left. There are two two eggs left. Okay. One egg left. More ammo. Uh, I think the last one is up here. Whoa. No, where is it? Wait, wait. Ah. Here it is. Let's see it. We get the access card. Only once, once we get, get or destroy the last egg. And yeah, as you can see, the dinosaurs respawn. If you come back to a previous area. So that access card won't open that other building, it will open this one. So you think, okay, the last question mark box gave me a health. If I pick this one up, I'll also get health, right? No, that one actually will kill me. <laughs> yeah, there are mystery boxes that can heal you, give you an extra life, hurt you, outright kill you, give you invisibility. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty evil. Fortunately, they are not random. They are preset, so if you go through the game and you write down your notes, Indicating which box is which, you can you can know ahead of time which ones are bombs. And yeah, dinosaurs can't go or velociraptors can't go through doors. The tiny ones can, but not this one. I use this tactic to kill them. I can shoot through the fence here to destroy that egg, and then access card. Then I can use the computer. Mr. DNA Jurassic Park. It's a Unix system. I know this. <laughs> yeah, the very simple interface. <laughs> yeah, in the movies they made it, the girl to made it her seem like a hacker, but uh, the only thing that she ever did was to use a computer with the slowest ever interface. You want to select an option? Okay, you gotta use a mouse and navigate through a 3D environment until you get reach the very slowly blah, 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 until you reach the menu, the item you want to click. <laughs> yeah, I, I, admittedly it looked cool back in the day, but it aged really poorly. <laughs> so yeah, you can use the gate control, but it says access denied, entry to the system restricted from this console. Mr. DNA. Online help. Tim is beyond the main gates. Only the correct terminal will allow access to the open gate option. Collect or destroy all the eggs for a building pass card. You can see down there, insert card. You also use the card to access the computers. And yeah, if I, can't, I can't back out to the main menu. I, I have to press start to exit and then use it again to select something else. Uh oh. You respond. <laughs> yeah. 
Come here. Oops. Well, I did get that that uh, other pass card, which will allow me entry to the other building. Oh yeah, it said hints check out the motion detectors. This is what they were called. They were mentioning. These are the motion detectors, but all they do is show the same interface as the computer. Seems beyond the main gate, so yeah, no real reason to to access them. Oh, hey, Alan YT or with T. Yeah, I really like the music. Music. Okay, now I can get it. Nine eggs. Oh, yeah. When the little guys come out of the wall like that, they're behind the wall. Come out all of a sudden, they can really get you. Okay, hang on. Let me check my notes here. Uh, the bottom one is health. Yeah. Yeah. I wrote down what what each box contained. The top one is bomb that will hurt you. <laughs> That's the only way to get through. You know, you know. I, I can check out the computer, but since I don't have the right access card yet... Jurassic Park Central Mainframe, you need the correct security card for access. Entry denied. <laughs> hey, Bart Snag. We gotta... Oh. We gotta get all the, the remaining eggs here, and then go back to the computer. Uh, this one gives you invincibility. I think it's the only one that does it for some reason. See, that one was a bomb. But since I was invisible, it didn't hurt me. Oh, am I? I'm, I'm in an island surrounded by li dinosaurs. How do you think I'm? <laughs> I'm in danger. Trying to survive here. I'm enjoy some cool, cool music though. Here you go. So yeah, not not all bad. <laughs> I'm risking my life, but I get to enjoy cool tunes. This terminal, I can open the gate. Jurassic Park main gate is open. Or to exit. Ah. Get out of here. Ah. Yeah, I'm gonna try as much as possible to not get damaged by these little guys because, yeah, they they you can sub uh, can, you can underestimate them. If <laughs> it look like oh they're very tiny, they're not in any danger, but. They can kill you if, if you're not careful. Any of the Jurassic Park movies have Dolby Atmos? I have no idea. Maybe the recent re-releases on Blu-ray or something. Here you go. Main gate is open. There's Tim. What are you doing there, Tim? Come here. Uh-oh. Whoa. They weren't kidding about the giant Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> they really are giants. Look at that. Okay. Uh-oh. So you gotta press up a little bit so they... D so that uh, he stands behind you like that. It makes it easier to dodge. Oh, ah. 
Oh. Oh dear. Ah. Ow. Ooh. Sorry, sorry, Tim. I wasn't looking. <laughs> Oh dear. Ah. Get a move on. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Congratulations, you have saved Team from being crushed. Ish. <laughs> Tim tells you that his sister is hiding in the T-Rex enclosure. <laughs> Find Lex and save her from the T-Rex. We have a T-Rex? Oh dear. Oh, the 25th anniversary collection has it? Nice. Oh, the only only Jurassic Park mo movie I have is this one. <laughs> the old VHS tape. Back from back in the day. <laughs> and of course I have the actual cartridge. <laughs> I'm playing on em emulator, but I do own the, the game. <laughs> okay. Another cool, cool music. Uh oh. Ah, I'm surrounded. These green bullets, I think, are twice as powerful as the yellow ones, so this guy took four bullets to, to kill. Only takes two green bullets to kill. If I press select, I can switch between ammo types. Uh, conserve, conserve my. My good ammo. Hi there. Yeah, fortunately he can only shoot his poison uh, in 45 degree angles. Um, that one is a bomb. Yeah, let's check. What's the hint? Online help. <laughs> Go through the spitter pen for... Yeah, they call them the spitters, the, the Dilophosaurus. <laughs> For access to the river. Shoot the T-Rex whilst trying to protect Lex. Yay. Oh, you are ordered the 25th anniversary version? Okay, I do know that this one heals you. Yeah, getting, getting your gun lined up in time can be tricky. Oh, I don't have a good memory. I'm checking my notes here. I have this huge paper. Uh-oh. With all the, all the notes. I do my homework. <laughs> For example, this one uh, inside is bomb top heal to bottom. I don't need heal. Okay. <laughs> ah. Clever girl. Yeah, just like in the movies, these velociraptors can come out of nowhere. In between, under the trees. Uh, that one is a bomb. Three eggs left. Come here. Come here. Danger, yeah, you said it. Uh -oh. Yeah, gotta have quick reflexes. Uh-oh, you respawn. <laughs> A 
Okay, we made it to the river. <laughs> roll, roll, roll your boat. Anyone here played Tubin? Kind of have, having Tubin vibes from this set. <laughs> from this section. So I don't have to actually collect all the eggs here, but if I if you do, you get extra lives, so I'm gonna give it a shot. One extra life per screen. I mean, this, how, how good this game is depends on, on what you consider good, I guess. I mean, there are, there are some, like I said, unfair things about the game design in, in this. But as long as you know the, all the tips and tricks, you can get through it. I, mean, I, w I would not call it maybe a good game by today's standards, but but yeah, it has good graphics and good music. Yeah, I, despite all its flaws, I, I do think it's fun. You can get used to. Ah. Get away, Brachiosaurus! Ah. Okay, got all the eggs and got extra life. Nice. Stand there, okay. Oh, if I just get a single touch, I'll, I'll lose a life, but it's okay. life at least until I reach the T-Rex. Yeah, the T-Rex is the thing that really got in the way of me beating this game. That one... The T-Rex fight was really troublesome. I'll explain why as soon as I get there. Come on. Wants to... Uh, a little bit, a little bit more. There you go. Ooh. Five lives, nice. Okay. Okay. Here you go. So this T-Rex will be wandering around the screen, trying to eat both me and Lex here. <laughs> and unlike Tim in the previous level, Lex will not follow directly behind me. She will have a sort of delayed reaction. I'll go one place and then a few seconds later she will go where I, where I am. <laughs> And then, uh, uh, back in, when I first played this, I, I, I thought, oh my god, this is impossible. Uh, wherever I go, the T-Rex will either get me or Lex, because I thought the movements were random, or I thought the movements depended on where I was. But then I kept playing, and I recorded myself playing, and then I looked at other, p other playthroughs, and I realized that, no, the movement patterns are actually fixed. The T-Rex will actually go on a specific path, and then loop, and then do a specific path again. So I actually wrote down, look at that. These are, these are the paths that the T-Rex will take. And I made sure to note, okay, where, where do I have to go to make sure that both me and Lex are, stay clear of him? <laughs> okay, let's see if I can remember. Hey, TW. Long time no see. <laughs> okay, here we go. Wait a little side, a couple, couple seconds. Up here, and come back down here. Come on, Lex. There you go. And come back up. Come on. Okay, then I'll get over here. Point diagonally downward. Okay, then go over here. Come on, Lex. Right. And I wait for him to get close. Okay. Now get over here. Come on, Lex. Get over here. There you go. Ah! Okay, he's, he's gonna loop. When he st stops like that, that, that he's looping. Got him. 
And he's flashing and, and walking away. Phew! Didn't lose any life. Nice. Well done. You have prevented Lex from being eaten. Now restore power to the island by starting the main generator. Remember the start sequence. Turn on all power in, in utility shred, shed. Start up the main computer consoles in the correct order. Message ends. Yikes. And I don't get my health back from the start of each level. So let's see, uh, level four, that one. This is a bomb. Dang it. Wait, that's... Yeah, that's this is level three, not level four. Dang it. I mis miscalculated. This is the health. <laughs> Blow up that egg. So yeah, imagine having to pick left or right. Uh-oh. Uh. Okay. Got four lives. We can do this. Okay, come here. Once again, gotta collect all the eggs. You thought that was a slide? No, that that's the... I mean, it is like the one from the movie, the, that uh, that place where Samuel L. Jackson gets eaten by a Velociraptor. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I mean, the, the Compi is the, the Dilophosaurus and the Velociraptors are the main bad guys, the main enemies. The Triceratops and T-Rexes are the, like, the bosses. Random Stegosaurus is just walking by. And a random Dimetrodon also walking by. Uh -oh. I think I remember someone uh, suggesting the Game Boy version of Jurassic Park uh, for uh, Kyle Bosman's Tetris streams. <laughs> uh oh. Ah. <sighs> Ow. See what I mean about these little guys? Can't underestimate them. They will kill you. Ah, wasting the, the great bullets. Nine eggs left. Yeah. Okay, there's an entrance somewhere here. Here you go. Yeah, you can. You, if you play this long enough, you kind of memorize where the hidden paths are. Yeah, I got a new new weapon. This one fires three shots like this. Okay, not, not the best weapon. Switch back. Another random dimet Dimetrodon? Okay. Two eggs, I think I know where they are. Here. Ah. Oh well, let's switch back. <laughs> 97. <laughs> switch back to the, the yellow gun, even though it takes more shots. Uh, it's the one that I get back from the dinos when I kill them, so it's very easy to... Whoa. Ah. Very easy to get a bunch of them. <laughs> Max out on them. <laughs> okay, I got... I got the access card. Oh. Jump, jump around. Yeah, there was that main building there. That's where the... the that's where the computers are, but... In fact, hang on. Here's the hint system. I want help. The computer consoles are in the large visitor center. <laughs> but yeah, but before I, I do go there, 
if, if, yeah, if I did go there, I, I tried turning on the computer, it would say, no, you must turn on the power first, which you do here. Eh, boy. Okay, here you go. Just hope there are no kids climbing the outer perimeter fence. This one, the left one is you. No. Okay. Power has been restored. The life sources will pop out of here. Come on, come on. There you go. Ah. Yeah, you can kind of position yourself in such a way that you don't get hit by them. <laughs> I think I think those big guys will actually kill me if they if they stomp all over me. Four, eighty-eight. So yeah, the the Dilophosaurus take four bullets to to kill, but they also gave back four bullets. <laughs> Tiny ones give back too. So yeah, like I said, if you, as long as you don't miss, you won't run out of bullets. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, there are a bunch of computers here. They all look the same. If you try the uh, the wrong one, it says error. This is not the next terminal in the sequence. Message ends. So how do you know which is the sequence? Well, you try them one by one until you get the right one. <laughs> and once you get the right one, you try them one by one again until you get the next one. <laughs> like I said, very, some pretty evil game design stuff here. Doesn't even tell you which, is, which have already been turned on. Just gotta check, but thankfully... I made a little map here with all the numbers indicating indicating which which uh, which computers to turn on in what order. Go away. So this is number one. Terminal booting. System OK. System message. Boot up. Next terminal. Message ends. Yeah, like I said, you really need you you really need to make your notes if you want to finish this game. <laughs> I mean, not not that it's impossible to just move around this area going from computer to computer. It just takes a long time and increases your likelihood of getting ambushed by one of these. So this one, it's heal on the right. Yeah. Next one, number two, is up here. Oh. It does have a, this arcadey feel to this game, where just the fact that it's a top-down shooter, <laughs> kind of have to keep an eye out for what guns you get, what what enemies are creeping up on you. Okay. Next one, number three, is all the way up there. We gotta go around here. Let me switch. Switch my ammo. Uh, this one, right? This one is a bomb. <laughs> Panicked and <laughs> shot more than I have to. Yeah, this one you don't actually have to collect eggs in, in, in here. You just have to turn on the right computers in the right order. Yeah. Gotta remember, every time I pick up a new type of ammo, it switches to that ammo. So if I, if I want to conserve my ammo, I have to switch back. Yeah, what kind of gun is this that makes dinosaurs explode? 
Am I using a grenade launcher or something? Um, this one heals you, but I don't need heal. Ow. Yes, see what I mean? Some, I, I might be lined up to them, but because my my shot goes to the side, doesn't matter. I have to... Ow. Gotta make sure uh, my gun is lined up to them, not my body. Hydrate, sure. Hmm. Ow. Uh, this is number three, right? Okay. Put next terminal. Well, number four is uh, back through the main hall. Okay, now I now I could use some healing. It's okay, I got plenty of bullets. Oh, sneaky. Yeah, fortunately, the Velociraptors can't go through doors. Is, is this a reference to them not being able to open doors until later in the movie? I wonder. Yeah, it makes it much easier to defeat. And yeah, I also get I get uh, an extra life every time I make I get a thousand points. I could actually farm lives by repeatedly killing... Ow. Killing dinosaurs, getting 15 points, leaving, coming back for them to respawn, and then getting another 15 points, and keep killing them over and over until I get 1,000 points. So, yeah, it is possible to farm uh, farm points for lives. Oh yeah, th this is the next one. Uh... Okay, number five is up there. Yeah, as you can see, not, not that hard to move around this area if you know where the dinosaurs are. Like, I know there's the, the Velociraptor over there. Like, I'm ready for it when it comes. is... no, number six is up, up there, okay. Ah! Thought I could get in time. Wait, where? What's the other hill? Uh... Can't go through here for some reason. <laughs> Looked like I should be able to go through there, but no. This one should heal, right? Yeah. Okay, this is the next one, number five. There are eight, eight total uh, computers. So this is the fifth one. No, this is the sixth, sixth one. Yeah. Number seven is right at the beginning. When it came in. Yeah, I saw you getting behind the wall. You won't catch me unprepared. Yeah, this terminal has already been initiate, initialized. That's it, it's okay. I press start too soon. Thought, thought it didn't do it. Ah. Go away, compy. Ah. Okay, the last one, the eighth one is... Right here. Gotta go around this wall. That's the last one. Mm. 
think that's it. Terminal booting. System OK. System message. All terminals have been initialized. Main power on. Auxiliary power on. Message ends. Press start to log off. Whew. Level 4. Power has been restored. Warning. The raptors have begun to breed. You must find the raptor nest and destroy them with explosives. Message ends. Well, y you know, um, life uh, finds a way. <laughs> yeah, they weren't supposed to breed, but apparently... Now they're starting to breed. No, it can't, can't have them. Can't have them breed. We gotta make the, the dinosaurs extinct again for our own safety. I mean, I'm already destroying eggs, so <laughs> not really that new. <laughs> Ow. Ow. But of course, in order to destroy the, the eggs, which are the nests are in those caves, in order to destroy those nests, I need explosives. And the explosives are inside the main building. In order to get inside the main building, I need the access card, which I can only get if I get all the eggs. Uh, that is a bomb. Ow. 86. Aha. Fortunately, you can't you can't shoot while on the stairs. Look, I'm, I'm pressing the shoot button. And if I shoot uh, above ground, it doesn't hit the guys below, so yeah, stairs can become very vulnerable while going up, up and down stairs if these guys are nearby. Like that, for example. See? It doesn't work. Ah. Okay, 12 ads left. Uh, deal with volcanoes, too. Or like the underground world in Zelda Oracle Seasons. Yeah, I can see that. I remember. <sighs> okay, there's a couple eggs there. Yeah, I wonder, is this scenario somehow engineered to be to look like a prehistoric era? Or did the island just happen to be on a on a volcanic active volcano? I mean, why why are they lava pools here? <laughs> Apparently, this part of the raptor nest was wasn't in the movie, but was included in the books. So because since this game came out at the same time as the movies did, they actually included some material from the book in the game. <laughs> I haven't read the book yet. I just heard that this—that was—I the... just read that that was the case. Ah. Three eggs left. Okay, I think they're all on, on this building. Yeah. Okay, right. I believe that one heals me, right? Ah. Come on, heal. Yeah. Okay. Access card get. has a longer range than your spit. What do you have to say, Mr. DNA? In the nests, X mark marks the spot. Gee, thanks. <laughs> Great hint there. Ah. Dang it. Okay. And yeah, you got you got time bombs with alarm clocks tied to them. <laughs> got all three. Okay, 
now we go inside the caves, destroy the raptor nests. Quick, like I said, they, if you're not quick, they can sneak up on you and do a lot of damage, even for their tiny size. But yeah, I gotta plant the bombs on, on the eggs, but for some reason, I can only plant the bombs if once I collected all the eggs in the cave. <laughs> not sure how that works. And now the egg counter becomes the time bomb counter. Ah. But five seconds to leave the cave, otherwise, I lose a life. Boom. I maxed out. Then using the other ammo. Oh dear. Uh oh. Raptors are not happy. Oof. Counted four shots. <laughs> wait, wait. Uh, large cave. No, this is the medium cave. Uh, no, this is the large cave, right? Yeah, the bottom one is heal. This one is a bomb. Okay. Uh oh. Ah. Ow. Hit the bomb accidentally. <laughs> Trying to dodge the raptors. Yeah, they're not easy to escape. They run just as fast as me, unlike these little guys who run much slower. But they're a little slow when they're turning, so you can kind of dodge them by by going around. Okay, got all the eggs. And I got 30 seconds to make it out of here. I got raptors on my tail. Ah. Woo. Ow. Seven, six, five. Made it. Woo. One. Boom. Ah. Okay, last one. switch back to the other ammo. Yeah, better to kill them when they are far away, so they don't sneak up on you. Wait, I think uh, I think there's something here. Yeah, back here. Yeah, when they, when they sneak up on you, I don't I don't bother counting the shots. I just shoot as fast as I can to make sure they get killed before they reach me. Here you go again. Uh oh. Ah. Oof. Uh, that one is a bomb. Yeah. Bottom bottom one should be. Heal. Ow. Ow. <laughs> I got 
this shot again. I mean, I got 30 bullets of it, might, might as well use it. Okay. Here we go. Time to run! By Velociraptors. Hmm. Level 5. The main raptor nest is destroyed. The radio in the control room has been destroyed by the raptors. Your only chance is to get on the get to the dock and use the radio on board the ship. Message ends. So yeah, this is another thing that apparently was in the book but wasn't in the movies. They have to go to the ship at some point. <laughs> kind of look like the pink dolphins from the Amazon called, called Bot Boto. <laughs> uh, this is level five. This one is a heal. That, for some reason, is an electric part of the bridge. I have to jump over it. I don't want to get damaged. Yeah, this is the menu music. You get to hear it again. Ow. Shot right over him. Uh-oh. Losing too much health. As long as I don't stop on, on, on these bridges, the picture sources don't get me. Okay, two eggs left. I think that one is a bomb. There's the last thing. Okay. okay. For some reason, I need the access card just to. Just to get to the ship. And yeah, this is one of those guns in NES games where you, you have to wait for the bullets to finish leaving the screen before you can fire again, so... Yeah, n not the best. Better to have this one. Uh-oh. Another stampede of giant triceratops, and this one time they're faster! Ah! <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, I don't know how, how anyone can escape these guys. The, how fast they move. Ah, ouch. The first one I, I can escape unscathed by just moving to the... Oh, no. Moving to the right place. This one... Can't really do it. Just gotta try and lose as little health as possible. Oh, I got... Got an extra life because I get got 4,000 points. Nice. Okay, I made it to the boat. Which was the level that I think the farthest I ever got in when I played this back in the day. Ow. I mean, I, I do have lives and, and I think I have four continues. Fortunately, I haven't used any continues yet. But yeah, back in the day, especially thanks to the, uh, I guess, I th what I thought was an unpredictable T-Rex fight, I lost a lot of continues. Uh, this one is... Um, a bomb, yeah. There's another one that is a heal. Might as well get it, that one. Ammo too, why not? Wait a second. Mm. Can 
Actually, no, that one was a heal too. That one was a, is a bomb. Okay. I got my notes mix, mixed up. I thought. Yeah. Okay, nine eggs, eight, seven. Uh, if only I could fire while on stairs. Okay, that one is a bomb. I mean, I say bomb, but I don't. I don't know if it's the type of bomb that will outright kill you or it will just hurt you a little bit. Because there are two t two types like that in the game. I'd rather not risk it. I need I need the access card in this to get gain entry into inside of the ship. Right now I can't I can't go inside any of the doors. I don't remember exactly where each enemy will come from, so, so sometimes I will get surprised. <laughs> Have to react quickly. Because, yeah, there are a bunch of doors here, but only one works. Is it this one? No. I think is this one. Yeah. Ow! Got elect electrocuted. Okay, ow! Hang on, hang on. Uh. Ow! Okay. Be careful here. You can easily lose all your lives here if you, if you don't match your timing. Okay. Ow! Come on, I thought I thought I was safe. Okay. Ah, that that just healed me, but I didn't need it. Okay. Ah, come on! Right at, right at was, as I was going through. Okay. Destroy that egg from a distance. Okay. This is tricky. Three eggs still. Okay. okay, one more here. Okay. Uh, if only this was the exit. Nope, gotta go all the way back. Guys, some when they ow, the way they line up and can sometimes make them impossible to hit. Uh, okay, as long as I don't lose my last life, I think I have two. I have one and zero, so should make it through. Okay. I'm okay with losing it, having to use a continue. Not that bad. Okay. Ten eggs here. Okay. Um. Okay. Woo! Ow! Thought I made it. Ah. Come on! Well, that's what the, the one was. Yeah. Okay. Uh. I'm just gonna destroy the egg. Yeah, I, I can't go any 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 more to the side. So if he lines uh, lines up with the with the wall like that, okay. Wasting the big ammo. Ah. Okay, four eggs left. Okay. Where's the 
last egg. There it is. Access card get. Ow. Okay, last life. And I think I just go here. No? Where is it? Down there, maybe? Forget. Yes. Well done! Your radio message to the mainland has been sent. Help is on its way. Press start to continue. Phew. The helicopter is on its way. Get to the helipad for pickup and safety. Warning. Highly infested area. Oh no. Here we go again. Oh yeah, I'm probably going to lose a continue here. This part is a little tricky. Ah. Well, it's a shame to lose all this web, all this ammo. Okay, okay. Yep, they weren't kidding about being highly infected. Uh, infested area, not infected. free pass card here but okay ow uh, I think all the boxes in this level are healed so yeah might as well one egg here I missed okay oh one here too okay okay I think I got them all take out like 24% of your 25% of your health so yeah you want to avoid touching him touching them Ow. oh there it goes there goes my health write down the layout of this area so I'm just gonna have to wing it ah. okay, there's an egg there might as well might as well destroy it from this side the right way whenever I fire. Okay. Uh, I don't think I can go out here yet. Yeah. I need all the eggs to get the pass card that will let me leave here. So, okay. I'll go back. Uh-oh. I do believe there might be a couple of these boxes that will give you me an extra life. Yeah, not all of them heal you. Some, some of them give you extra lives. So, if I can get at least one extra life, we're in business. There you go. One extra life. Nice. And that one healed. Unfortunately, don't think it's my on my end, but I don't have any drop frames. <sighs> what do you have to say, Mr. DNA? Oh, I can't even access the computer. Okay. Three eggs left. Eh. 
here, maybe? Yeah, here you go. Two, one, the last one there. And yeah, there are two doors leading out from this environment, but I have to go through one, then come back here and go to the second. Oh yeah, kind of complicated. This, this is the last level though, so I'm almost done. Uh, uh oh. Can I use the computer now? Nope. Uh, where do I go? Uh, eh. I mean, I would kill the. The lost raptor from this side, but you just respawn again. Okay. Uh -oh. okay. Yeah, there's a middle door and a right door. I think I go to the right door first, if I recall correctly. Dodge the spit, got attacked by the little guy. Okay. Pass code, pass card here. Get me in the second building. Yeah, this is a large area with multiple buildings you gotta go in and out. Ow. Ah, come on. Line up your gun. Did it hard hard? Fire while, while they're off screen and okay. oh, ow. Follow the bullets to to where the dinosaur was, the Dilophosaurus was. <laughs> ah. These little guys really are like tiny rats that just pop out of nowhere and infesting the place. Ow. I had picked up that box that was a heal. Uh oh. The lost Arp is back. I saw you through the window. Uh, one, one egg left. Where is it? Where's the last egg? Pick this up later. I know that's a heal, but I don't need it now. Ooh, got extra life just by getting points. Nice. Yeah, these eggs still count as the outside eggs, so there are seven left. Six now. And yeah, there are a couple on another level that I gotta go through the building to get it. down there that I've missed. Oh dear. Eh. Okay, gotta remember to pick up. Yeah, that door for some reason you, you don't ever go through it. It stays locked. Ah. Wait, wait, wait. No, don't want to use that heal yet. Uh, now wait. Now I go back to the first room, I think. Go through the middle door. Yeah, this there are two rooms with three doors, so. Eh. Uh oh. 
Uh oh. Yeah, these guys are slower than me, but can be surprisingly fast when they sneak out from behind the wall. Still, still being on edge here, not not knowing exactly where where they're gonna pop out from. Eggs left. I think I know where they are. There's one, the one that I missed down there, and another top one. Okay, now I go back to the second building and go through the middle door in the second building. <laughs> yeah, pretty complicated <laughs> last level, but I guess you'd expect final level to be the hardest one. <sighs> I still use the computer. No. Oh well. I know what to do anyway. Uh, no, I don't. Where, where do I go? No. Ah. Yeah, down here. Could be a Velociraptor here. Yeah. Again. Wait. Yeah, there was a heal in the other room, right? I can I can heal. Ah. Last egg, the final one is the one I missed down there, but I need to go back down anyway. Look at that. The helipad is right there. You can see on top of the screen. Ah, but can't go there yet. At least I know the way to get back is just to go through the leftmost doors in each building. Wait, I forgot to heal. Uh, hang on. I'm not coming back here anyway, so might as well. Ah. Might as well get the last question mark bo box. Get damaged on the way. Oh, that one is extra life. Nice. I thought it would heal me. Even better. Yeah, I, I just marked which was which ones were the positive boxes, which were the negative ones. I didn't mark exactly what each one did, so I, mean, I, was, I knew what which ones I needed to pick up anyway. So which one I needed to avoid. That's all that mattered. nice if I could beat this without using a continue because then then I'll get the high score if you use a continue your score resets not that I care about high scores in games but I think it would also be the first time if I beat this without using a continue even when I was practicing I used used up continues Ah. Uh -oh. 
Okay. I'm gonna switch to this bullet. I'm gonna shoot ahead just in case there's something. Okay. I'm nervous. Okay. Gotcha. There you go, the last egg. So now I go over here. Yeah, that final pass card was just to get to this building where you started. Uh oh. That's a lot of guys here. Okay, this one. Uh, last area the first one is a heal but the next ones are bombs okay and this one is also one where i needed to draw a map because they do a, another evil thing in this level they hide eggs under the trees so you gotta know which trees to look look under to get the final eggs there are only three i think i already got pick one or oh, destroyed one by shooting down Gotta check. Okay, there's a tiny one, tiny bush here. Inside this larger bush, there's another e egg. Ow! Come on, where is it? There it is. <sighs> Let me go back and heal. And finally, there should be one more egg. Oh dear. Uh, the last egg is... Whoa! Where is it? Next to the door. Where is the door? Uh oh Ow! Uh-oh. We got raptors. Raptors on the loose, that's a bomb. Uh, I think there's probably a, another question block that's a bomb hidden, but okay, this. Oh! This is where the last one is. Got it. We also gotta get the pass card. Got it. Okay. Me lose my last life. Okay. Warning. Tim and Lex have been trapped by the T Rex. Rescue them both and defeat the T Rex. Good luck. Yay. Final boss. Here we go. And I remember the patterns uh, up, down, up, upper left, upper right. Got it. Down. And they come in different orders. Oh dear. Up again. Come on. Come on, kids. And yeah, the T-Rex has even even more health now. Okay, here. Come on. Get out of there. Okay, no, no. Okay, now. Now he's gonna come down and then go up. When he does that, pump him full of bullets. Okay. Okay, he's gonna loop again. Okay, down. Come on. Get down. I lost count how many times I screamed at these kids. Get out of the way! <laughs> Diagonally. And did it. Woo. I made it. Well, after careful consideration, I have decided not to endorse your park. <laughs> Final message. Brilliant. You have escaped Jurassic Park. 
You have succeeded where others became dinner. But some dinosaurs survive, and only time will tell who rules the Earth. Message ends. Game ends. Exit credits. Ooh. Yeah, we got to see... Interesting credit area. You got to get to walk around the names. Everyone. Whew. Victor de Almeida. Sounds like a Brazilian name. Voting by Mark Rogers. Paul Robinson. Mary. Hey. Music by John Dunn. Hey, John Dunn, you did a good job. And Kenner. Yeah, the toy company. They have... They have the license for the toys of Jurassic Park, and they put the logo in the game as well. <laughs> nice. Enter your enter your personal to for the high score table. Sure. Uh. L. E. Nice. Yeah, I got first place on the on the high score. <laughs> Mark, Steve, John, Chris, Paul. You. <laughs> yeah. That was Jurassic Park on the NES. Full playthrough. Done. Yeah, it didn't take very long. I mean, an hour and a half to go through the entire game. In fact, hang on, let me let me do something here because I did I did miss I did not show one thing. Yeah. Can I can I access these? Oh, even without that pass card, I can access these. Oh, you need the correct security access security card for access. He entered denied. Yeah, that's that was the, what this first pass card is for. Accessing this. But yeah, you can't open the gate with this one. Uh, yeah, what I wanted to do was just kill myself and die, so you get to see what the the continue screen looks like. What the it's the same as the game over screen, but it is pretty interesting though. So yeah, as you can see, you can die pretty quickly if you're not careful. <laughs> These little guys swarm swarm you. continues. You have 10 seconds to say yes. Look at that. <laughs> ah, he's gonna eat me. <laughs> yeah, that would happen. <laughs> That's what happened. But kind of interesting. Why, why would a console game have a, a timer for continue? Isn't that weird? I mean, you can understand it on arcade games. You, Kind of pressuring people to spend those quarters to give you more continues, but why, why, why put a countdown in a, in a console game? Shouldn't I just have yes or no continue? Yes, no, not, not be pressured into pressing continue at the right time. <laughs> yeah, a lot of a lot of NES games do that. But yeah, those NES game, Jurassic Park. As I mentioned, the the there is a an Super NES version which is kind of similar to this, but with 16-bit uh, graphics. But but the gameplay itself is a little different. I mean, you still have to collect eggs, but you go inside buildings and switch to a first-person per perspective. And I think the layout of the levels are different. There's also a Game Boy version, which I believe it's almost the same. The music is is the same, but I think a couple of levels are missing, or some of the boss fights are a little different. But yeah, there have been a lot of Jurassic Park games. <laughs> but yeah, these ones made by Ocean are, I think, the ones I like the most. I mean, I did, like I said, I did check out the Mega Drive one. That's more like a action platformer. But even though it looks better, I don't think it plays as, as well. This one is still fun. Even if I did have to write down all these notes about which crates were bombs, which where the computers were in, in the third level. Uh, where the last eggs were in the last area, and the the path of the T-Rex, so I knew how to avoid him. 
<sighs> yeah. Hope you guys had fun. Let's see. My next streams will be uh, this Sunday. Yeah. I'll be coming, going back to Star Trek Armada. Going on another mission as the Borg. Should be fun. Next Tuesday, we'll be coming back to uh, Siberia 3. Continuing our playthrough. And then next Thursday, next week, we'll be coming back to Duke Nukem 3D. Please tell me you keep the notes in a big binder. No, I, I don't have a big binder of notes. I might just scan these or store them somewhere. Maybe fold them. <laughs> yeah, if you want to check out any of these games, either Star Trek Armada, Siberia 3, or Jur uh, not Jurassic Park, uh, Duke Nukem 3D, make sure to follow the channel. And yeah, I played other NES games, hard ones that I wasn't able to beat before, but I, I got was able to beat now, like this one. Yeah, this year was the first time I ever beat this game. <laughs> first time I, I guess, sat down and gave it a good try and figured out exactly what I needed to do. <laughs> yeah, if you want to check out any other NES games that I played, you can look at my check out my YouTube channel where I archive all my streams. Yeah, hope you had fun. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.